as we gather here today, it is evident that we stand at the precipice of an AI-driven revolution. One that is shaping industries and redefining the way we work and communicate. In an age where video contents reign supreme, AI has emerged as a game changer. Whether it's enhanced visuals, refining audio, or adding special effects, AI is pushing the boundaries of what's possible compared to what is on the reality. Whether it is predicting future trends, identifying anomalies, or generating comprehensive reports, AI is revolutionizing the way businesses harness the power of data. All of you are aware that in today's time, data is everything. Data is the gold. And how you use that to create value and worth for your business becomes paramount importance. Whenever we go to client, whenever we report anything to any authority, there need to be a proper presentation. And what are the tools that can be used? What are the use cases a CA can use through AI reporting, saving his time, and making his practice technologically forward based. So now let's move to the next panelist. Friends, Rama Jain. When you listen, when you view, when you analyze what Rama Jain can do, you need to go to the use case of a tally. In our hackathon earlier, he has presented a very beautiful use case of calculator window being used as a GPT in tally. And mm -hmm. we appreciated Rama Jain. He is a CA from Chennai and a faculty in ICI. So let's welcome Rama Jain in hackathon six. Over to you, Rama Jain. Thank you, sir. I hope I'm audible. So yeah, you are not visible. You are audible. Yeah, but there's some issue in the camera in my last moment, sir. I'm very sorry for that. I'm trying to stop and start, but unfortunately, I cannot start my camera. So uh, let me go on with my presentation. Uh, so currently, what I'm going to do is uh, many uh, practicing chartered accountants, uh, you know, uh, we need to work on with uh, uh, work on with the data from the financial statements or data from the ERPs. So currently, I'm going to show you a use case scenario where data from a ERP is pushed into a, a chat GPT model from on upon which a, a presentation can be pulled out. So this will be helpful for many chartered accountants who are who are not really, you know, uh, did not have time or could not able to spend more time on the presentation perspective. Rather, they can just go and pull out the data from the uh, any accounting uh, interface, maybe Tally or SAP, upload the data to a chat GPT model and, you know, ask GPT to create a presentation. So this is my plan. So what did I do? Uh, I'm going to use the TDL method. So I have pulled on around uh, 40 data points from the day book where a click of a button, all the data will be exported to a Excel application. Along with, there are, there are 11 more tables where 95% of the data from the tally will be out as an Excel table, so which I'm going to demonstrate now. Upon After generation of the table, I'm going to upload that into a chat GPT window and going to show you what kind of data it can present to you. So currently, uh, I'm in my tally. So I have linked my ODBC report here. So I'm going to click on this. So it's going to ask me the port code and you know where the data is situated. So every data right from ledger, right from ledger, it has extracted all the 11 tables. So now it is asking me, it in total, it took me, you know, a three seconds to get the data. This I'm, this I've done using Python. So I'll open the Excel file. So it has opened all the data. So there are multiple tables for like ledger forensics, uh, ledger master data, uh, day book, bill outstanding and other things. So this particular data, I'm going to upload to a chat GPT model and ask questions through it and also ask chat GPT to create presentations of it. In a real time scenario, say a, a chart accountant, you know, who is in practice also who's doing a CFO related services can 
can work on this kind of a data analysis, pull out the data from a, from a uh, tally or any accounting software, upload it into a chat GPT model and get results out of it. So this daybook captures all the line item of debit and credit for every transaction. So uh, with what account has been debited, what account has been credited, through which we, there are multiple things can be done or any kind of analysis can be done. Any kind of financial uh, uh, presentations can be done. Any reconciliations can be done. So this is how I, I, I pulled out all the data from the uh, from the tally window. So, and uh, this particular data I'm going to upload, uh, upload to the chat GPT model. So I've already uploaded, I've already uploaded uh, around uh, uh, four, uh, around four tables, which I will show it to you uh, with the uh, day book, uh, ledger master and uh, stock movement and uh, stock master. So the four sheets of data I'm going to upload to the chat GPT model. I've already uploaded this particular sheet and I asked for analyze the Excel data. So the chat GPT model analyzed the, and it came with four tables of data and it analyzed what kind of data each and every, every particular sheet has. And now, as a user, I can go and ask any any questions. So it gave me the list of what kind of documents or data the Excel file contains. So now I'm going to ask uh, some but some of the prompts which I've noted here. So can you get me the sales total from the day book? This is the first prompt. So I've just uploaded, but there are a lot of other prompts I've made. So I'm just going to regenerate one more time for you. So this will go and analyze the particular data. It will take the very important, it will go and analyze. It will say the sales will be credited. So it will take the credit column and result me in a total of the sales. Also, I have uploaded, I think it's, uh, I do, it says me to re-upload because it's, So I'll show you the result, let it get generated. In the meanwhile, I'll show you the output, what it has done. So it has given me the, the total sales. Here, and it, it has also given me the party-wise sales. So I've asked for a party-wise sales breakup. Then I asked for to generate the, uh, then my third one is, uh, I asked for uh, highlighting the maximum and minimum sales order for each customer. It has highlighted and I asked it to uh, create a, a presentation out of it. So now what GPTS did to me is it has created a presentation and given me a party wise sales. So now there are a lot of other tools given. What is the minimum sales quantity? and other things from this particular data. And it has given me in a uh, very simple light manner. Now this particular PPT can be uploaded to any other gamma app or something to make it colorful with visuals. So now coming back to the chat GPT here, I can go and ask multiple questions. For example, I'm going to say, list, get, get me the list of purchases. list of vendors. So like this, the GPT model goes and analyze a particular data and gives me the list of vendors and gives me the output. And also friends, I'll show you uh, I've actually shared this particular sheet with you. I'll show you the list of the result where it came already. This is party-wise purchase. Oh, sorry, there is some. Okay, there is some, my page is expired. I'm very sorry for this. Yeah, this is party-wise sales. So it gives me a data like this. So then I'm going to ask, 
can make a presentation out of this. So it has rendered me the data. So like that, I can go and ask multiple questions to chat GPT with a particular daybook data. So a uh, daybook data like this, and it gives me all the related details. At the moment, you know, I've signed in some time back and the session has been timed out. I don't want to take some time, may waste the time of the audience to load this data. Likewise, yesterday it happened to me. I want to show you one more, uh, one more presentation. Uh, So this is a this is a paper called International Taxation Diploma given by ICI, which I'm giving yesterday. So I I it is an open book examination. The materials were around two thousand pages, a PDF for international taxation for two volumes. So what did I do yesterday? I yesterday in fact you know logged in into the GPT window, uploaded the PDF file, and I asked to consolidate the PDF file for an index between 10 to 25 pages because index is very bad. So the chat GPT window actually read the entire, entire uh, PPT and created me a detailed index. So in the book, it was interaction to international taxation. It went to the chapter number two, but however, the chat GPT window read all the items of the PDF, say the 2000 pages, created me a, uh, created me a specific index for each and every page and rendered me the data. So with this, I went and, you know, I went and created an index for this and it was helpful for my examination. Hopefully, I think using this, I could be able to figure out at least 25, 30 marks very easily in the inside the book and I could be able to clear the examination. Finally, I asked to render this as a PDF page. It did render me to a, as a PDF page with the PDF I printed and, I, you know, hopefully I wrote the uh, exam very well. So, so this... PDF consolidation was very much helpful to me in my practice, as well as this Excel data analysis. So it was a, a Excel GPT I've used inside GPT to analyze this particular data. Again, you know, I have taken roughly around uh, eleven Excel sheets, um, Excel sheets from the from the uh, tally generated, but I have not used all of this. I'm still exploring. So I think for a practicing charter accountant who has a lot of data, who wants to disclose to the uh, client upon some kind of presentation, they can very well use this kind of a model where you can upload it to a GPT window and you know come out with the presentations. And at the moment, the presentation which are using Excel analysis and rendering, it is not colorful. It is giving me uh, data like this, but uh, but very well, uh, I think uh, using gamma AI, AI and other things that could be, we can make a colorful presentation and, you know, give it to the client. And and uh, my my particular, uh, uh, my particular prompts were like this. So it can give me a total party-wise sales, party-wise purchases, uh, which vendor pay, paid more, uh, it read me the other sheets of uh, data Excel and it provided me the list of receivables uh, and list of payables. So all these prompts I could be able to get. And very well, after it has been giving me the results of these prompts, I can get the data back in an Excel or a PDF or a, or a PPT form. Also, I'll tell you, my dear friends, in one such peculiar case, uh, in a matter of two hours, I made Python to read the data from Tally, render the data as a PDF file through a WhatsApp API to my client. So it, I spent roughly around two hours to train the GPT model to render a data like that. So now that particular client is being rendered with a PDF file every day and from his business automated by using GPT model. So, and... Uh, and the following technologies are used in this analysis. So I've used a tally TDL and a ODBC framework. In the back end, I've used a SQL query. App for, for generation of data, I've used all these three technologies. Finally, to analyze the data, I've used uh, GPT you know, 4.0 to analyze and you know download the data. So this is a use case I want to disclose to you. And currently, I'm using in my office. So over to the host. And I'm ready to take questions if you have. So thank you, Ramajan. As usual, you are a technocrat, chartered accountant. Your mastery is in tally. And you have learned Python also. So friends, 
please use python which is the one of the key uh, technological language that everybody needs to learn and uh, we are also giving this uh, training to our chartered accountant students uh, students who are doing chartered accountancy uh, python and very important thing is that that we have to use all the data from tally to python to chat gpt to gamma so ramajan is one of the technocrat chartered accountant in our fraternity and he uses tally extensively for giving services to the clients and with a very very creative prompts very very creative analysis of data so thanks ramajan again for surprising lot of ai enthusiastic people who are chartered accountant by presenting your use case and uh, we look forward for such types of uh, innovative such type of technology based use case and thank you for joining us again in this hackathon 6